we have finished 10 weeks out of our Europe bike tour. We still have um, about six weeks to go, but we have gotten a lot of questions um, from YouTube and Facebook and different people. So we thought we would go ahead and answer some of them. We did a, one of these episodes previously a long time ago, just after the first month, I think. So we got some more questions. So here we go. You got one? I'm up. Yeah. How did you train? Um, well, we've kind of been doing this off and on for a few years, but my first, our first bike ride back in, it was eight years ago, we started with one mile. We both had bikes that we weren't very good with, and so we rode down our road, and back down the road, and it was not easy. The next day we rode a little bit further, the next day we rode a little bit further, and so we ramped it up for our trip eight years ago. And then we didn't ride a whole lot until about two years ago. Well, it was 2020. We were getting ready to go in 2020 right. before it got canceled. Mm -hmm. um, but as I look at our Strava, uh, Strava, Strava, um, probably about six months before we left, we just started gradually increasing our miles. Susie was very organized and said, we need to be doing this many miles. A week anyway so we went um, and just slowly ramped up our distances probably every month is that was that every month mm -hmm. we increased from you know, 30 miles to 40 miles to 50 miles anyway so right before we left we got up to 100 miles per week and we would do that in I guess the furthest we went was 50 miles one time mm -hmm. um, and that was overkill that was more than we would ever do um, or that we ever planned to do um, on our tour. Um, but I just wanted, just in case there was a problem or a mistake or we miscalculated something, um, I wanted us to be able to do it. So we typically rode about 30 to 40. Would you say that was the? Yeah, per ride. Yeah. Yes. So three or four days a week. In the last month, we got up to 100 miles a week for like a month. But before that, it was less. Mm -hmm. But you didn't add this. Um, Darren had the idea that we should put our bikes, our bags on our bikes and start loading them up with stuff. So we started carrying the weight with us when we were going, which made it a lot harder than just riding. Right. And so that was a good thing. Some of us packed everything that we planned on taking on a trip and other, others of us, their bags were there, but I did it more gradually. Yeah, more I wanted gradually. to just add a little bit at a time. Yeah. So by the end, it was all on the bike. But I didn't do it like four months ahead because I was, you know, too much. Too much training. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next question is how often do you have rest days? So um, most of the trip we've averaged riding five days a week with two rest days off. Some weeks we've actually ridden six days in a row and then one rest day. But at, if you average all the weeks together, that's what we've done. We did recently take five days off in a row to go on a train trip somewhere and that was super fun. But anyway, we averaged riding five days a week and off to. Next question. Um, what is your top speed? Um, really fast, really fast. I like speed. Um, top speed was 73 kilometers an hour, which I think translates to 45 miles an hour. And that was on smooth road going downhill, blah, blah. How has the budget been going was a question we got and i think we've done pretty good we have averaged about 159 dollars a day for the whole trip and some countries have been more expensive and some have been less um france has actually been the cheapest country it was only about 80 dollars a day and belgium has been the most expensive at 169 dollars a day i believe but most of that is because we camped more when we were in france than in belgium we have had a lot of hotel days so that's what blew the budget. But it's, Darren says we're doing okay with the budget. Next, how much do you ride per day? So when we first started out, we were shooting for around 50 kilometers a day. Um, but we were going too fast. Uh, we had to slow it down because when we average that out over the rest of the trip, we were gonna finish Europe too quickly and we have our tickets on a ferry on our last day that we can stay in the EU. 
So we're going too fast. So now we're running at 43 kilometers a day. That can vary 10%, 15%. Um, but 43 kilometers a day is about 30 miles or so. Um, and it's a lot easier now because when we were in the mountains, we had to shorten our distances because we were going up and up and up. Um, and now that it's flatter, getting towards the Netherlands, um, it's easier to go 43 kilometers. So it's about 27 miles a day. Um, and that should get us on target. Another question is, how long does it take to make a YouTube video? Um, I guess they average about two hours to make one video that's roughly 10 minutes long. So some have been quicker, some have been longer. So I uh, was getting kind of behind and um, I kind of put a limit on myself of only working on it for about an hour a day because otherwise sometimes it was taking three hours and it was just too long, too much. So. Anyway, I'm behind and I've been trying to get caught back up, but that's about how long it takes. Darren usually has about um, 30 minutes of GoPro footage every every ride day to, to look through. And then we have my camera and Darren's camera to look through to find out if there's anything good or interesting that I want to include in the video. But that's about what it takes. Next question. What is going on with your hair? <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we were in uh, Siena, Good looking, uh, I guess, Italian dude. He had long hair, wavy, had a little gray in it. I said, Hey, man, that's great hair. He said, Gracias. <laughs> he was so just been lazy. Susie's really getting tired of it. He's like, Kids, there's a barbershop. There's a, every barbershop, she points out. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Um, one question was, have you ridden with anyone? And we did have only one day that we found a cyclist going the same direction we were. And it was a sweet girl named Kate from UK. And we had so much fun riding with her and talking and sharing stories. And she had ridden a lot of the same distance that we had. And that was a super fun day, but it's only happened one time. We would do it again if somebody else was going the same direction as we are. How's the weather? I think it's about 78 right now. And we are... What's the date, honey? July 10th? I don't even know. About the 10th. Um, so it's beautiful. I think it was 103 in Central Texas yesterday, which is our home. Um, so we'll take 78 any day. It's been beautiful. We've had rain probably three days out of our, four days maybe out of our trip. It's mm -hmm. been pretty amazing. What American food do you miss? That was a good question. Uh, one thing I miss is iced coffee, and there are a few places that have it here, but it's not everywhere. But the second thing is having free ice water everywhere. Nobody here gives you free water, and they don't give you ice unless you ask for it. Anyway, so that's what I miss. One item I wish I wouldn't have brought, I'm giving you two. First is this silly GoPro. It's a tripod, you know, which is kind of cool. I guess we've done a few videos of us writing. Um, and it, there's a battery inside, but I find a, I just hold the GoPro or it's sticking on the bike. So it's a lot of weight, probably a pound, maybe a pound and a half. Um, second thing I wish I wouldn't have brought my Equinox, not Equinox. Helinox. Helinox chair that weighs about a pound. It's a great chair, but it was too big and too heavy. We got rid of it, gave it to my daughter she got tired of carrying it around and just gave it to somebody. It was a hundred bucks. It was too much. So I wish I wouldn't have brought it. Uh, next question is, have you had anything stolen? No. <laughs> There's all of our stuff laying over there. <laughs> and look at all the fun people. Lots of bicycles. Next question. Why do we choose our bikes? So we had a friend who had done a bike tour, I think I may have mentioned this before, and he broke a bunch of spokes, he broke his frame, um, it sounded terrible, and I didn't want to be chasing down bike shops any more than we already had to. So we went with Surly, Surly bikes, um, you can see it here, Surrey, actually Surly um, bikes, they're steel, made for touring, so if the frame broke, I could weld it back together. Um, I got to weld over the last couple of years, got to be pretty good working on my Land Cruiser. Um, I wanted 26 inch wheels, so I actually, I had 26s, but I, I got 
a new set of wheels. So this, I don't know if you can tell, there's 36 spokes and they're pretty beefy spokes so that it distributes the weight more evenly um, in a smaller area um, so that spokes are less likely to break. Also, there's a ton of mounting things here for mounting racks on both the front um, and the rear rack. So the nice rear rack. So we had to make sure these are good and steady for um, holding our uh, packs. They each weigh probably uh, 15 pounds or so, um, the, the big ones. Smaller ones weigh about five to seven, um, so surly. Also, they have these, even though we didn't like them initially, these brakes. You know, they're avid brakes, they're cable brakes, they're not hydraulic, so that there's a cable connecting from here to the brake, um, so they're very easy to work on. Also, when you want to adjust your brakes, since we've gone down a lot of hills, the Alps, the Apennines, um, you just turn the little dial a couple of times and click, click, and you adjust your brakes. Um, lots of places for mounting bottles, so I've got three here, one in my uh, grab bag. I love this grab bag. Um, anyway, so that was the main reasons. Small diameter wheel. Uh, I'll talk more about gear in another video sometime. But, so, certainly bikes is what we want with. What is one item you wish you had brought that you hadn't? I wish I had brought the regular curling iron um, that I had at home instead of bringing, I brought one that was uh, rechargeable Thing that you use a USB cord anyway it weighs just as much as the other one and it takes a long time to charge and it only works like one or two times anyway I wish I hadn't brought that I wish I had brought the regular curling iron and just used the adapter for the Europe plugs <laughs> Not light. I'm sorry <laughs> so I hope that answers some questions I hope you've enjoyed the video um, we took a lot of days off in a row. So are we including pictures of those five days along yes. with this one? Well, not with this one, but we'll include them sometime. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, guys.